So have you ever wondered what it would be like, you know, if you were cooking something, for example, you know, evening dinner, and you run out of broccoli, or maybe you need some carrots or whatever, right? And you really don't want to run to the store. I mean, that's just so 2000 and whatever, right? Well, you kind of have a way to take care of this, don't you? Absolutely. Yeah, so tell us about the RoboMart. Sure, so the RoboMart is the world's first self-driving grocery store. You just tap a button and the entire store comes to you, so you can shop right at your doorstep for the freshest produce and other groceries without paying a delivery fee. Now, when you say tap a button, you're talking on your smart device? That's correct, on so, your smartphone. Okay, so you have an app. Yes, and the Walmart you app. And you just basically call the store to you. So it comes to the curb, yeah. right? I go out and uh, let's say I want like three carrots and a head of lettuce and whatever. How do I pay for all this stuff at the end of this? So it's a full checkout free experience. We track everything using RFID. So once you unlock the doors, that's the only way to open the doors through the app. Once the doors open, we start the shopping engagement and you take whatever you want out. And when the doors close, we know exactly what was taken out during the time of the shopping engagement. And so we simply charge the card that you have on file. That is amazing, amazing. So, so you introduced this at CES last year. Yes. You didn't even have a prototype last year, did you? This There's is, a model. Just There's something small, in here? Yes, three foot yes, model. yes. And here you are a year later, and this is a working model behind us? This is a working model. It's logged many miles. It's driven autonomously. And uh, we will be deploying very soon with one of our retail partners. Do you have regulatory hurdles that you have to get past? We do. Because of the fact that it's a driverless vehicle, there's no cabin, there's no driver, there's no way for any human to be inside the vehicle. Right. Um, there are challenges, but at the same time, we do have a green light in two jurisdictions. Okay. Uh, we've been speaking to a lot of the regulatory uh, bodies and, and uh, the stakeholders involved in that process. Uh, what we are doing is, for the initial deployments, we will teleoperate the road marks. So we won't be driving them fully autonomously, but teleoperation means that there'll be a remote driver that will still be in control of the vehicle. Okay. Okay. So they are more comfortable with that approach because even though the human's not in the car, they are in full control right, of the car. Right, right, right. So how do you see this with like uh, weather conditions? You know, northern part of the country has uh, some snow yes. occasionally, yeah. the thunderstorm, whatever. Does it work well in those conditions as well? Uh, it is tricky. Okay. So initially during our deployments and our initial pilots, we will be uh, restricting it in geofenced areas, decent weather conditions, okay. and time of day. So we take those things into consideration. Um, but the plan is obviously to, to move towards full sure. level four autonomy uh, that can handle eventually all conditions. Yeah, you might just have to put some snow tires on it and chains, right? Yeah, that's so. true, that's true. <laughs> well, it's a pleasure. Appreciate you being Thank on you the Thank you so Tech much, Ranch. really appreciate it, yeah. And this is your guru of geek, Marlo Anderson at CES 2019.